So tonight on Friday Night Fish Talk, we're talking about sight casting. So Captain Billy and I wanted to bring you out on the boat with us and show you some of the key components that we look for and target while we're sight casting. You don't necessarily always need clear skies like we do not have today. Yes, obviously it makes it easier to be able to see that fish, but you can use other um, tools as well, like watching the fish push through the water. You can watch them bust bait. So even though you're not physically seeing the fish, um, you can actually see what they are going to be doing next and cast in that direction. Now when we're sight casting, I always like to utilize two different types of lures. When it's overcast like this, I love using a top water, which we're using right now. Captain Billy, he is using, what is that? I'm using me a little shrimp fish bites. There it is. Playing on soft plastic today. With a weighted jerk bait hook. So um, these are two things. Then the reason why I always, you know, like to use a soft plastic along with a top water is the top water gets their attention, but it doesn't, they don't always commit. So if you have that fish that's rolling at it, rolling at it, or slightly popping it, keep working the same way and then throw that soft plastic right next to it. Um, so let's see if we can't get in position to start drifting. You know, we saw a fish working along. You've got a fish pushing right on the bank, right? Where? 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Yep. Billy. No. Right. Just. No, so I'll try it. Just cast in that direction. I don't see it. We'll see what happens. I can actually see you went too far right. <clears throat> it's about 30 feet to your left, right on the bank. How are you Here. seeing that? Here. you got to try the, these new Bahios, man. I'm telling you, I know you keep arguing against them, but at least, at least try it. Oh, why didn't you tell me it was about over there? <laughs> I told you. Man, these are pretty <laughs> slick. Aren't they? I like those. Even when it's overcast like this, I swear you, you can, can, yeah. Yeah, it's more than just reading the surface. You can actually still see the fish. All right, well, now that you have those on, tell me where it's at so I can catch the fish. <laughs> it's actually looking like he ended up going to the right about 20 feet of me. I mean, it looked like that fish kept pushing further up that bank um, from where you just casted. Let's uh, let's go ahead and pick up the power pole and drift with this this bank. Let the wind take us. Since we got the sun at our back, it might give us a good chance. Okay. I see a lot of movement pushing up into that cove. That's not fair. I can't see any of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, here you want to try my old glasses? <laughs> no, I want see? mine back. <laughs> nah, here you can have these ones. Uh, you're not getting these back. The light difference is just crazy. Told you, man. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't listen the first go around them. These are just so much darker. A lot darker. It's a whole different light perspective when you actually be able to, to break that glare and still be able to see and almost brighten it up. Well, go pick up that power pole and let's drift up there a little bit. I did just have something roll on mine, but I didn't have my bahios on, so I couldn't tell what it was. <laughs> It's incredible the difference, Billy. Like these, I just, I feel like these aren't even polarized now or something. They claim to be, but uh, I'm definitely full on to the Bahios. They've got a bunch of new um, frames that they still haven't even released yet too, so. I can't wait to get into them. But I really like that pair, they're comfortable. Oh, you can't see any daylight past them. They actually hold and almost feel like they molded to my head. So I don't think you're getting these back. <laughs> so especially after they've been on your head. <laughs> Hope we'll have good luck up here in this cove. Yeah. You know, I went from seeing boils and, you know, mullet flashing in the water to nothing. I was gonna say, because if you could see, there's looks like two fish, maybe three, just beyond you two. No, I can't see. So like uh, just well, past mine? Yeah. Okay. So it's real important when you're sight casting. Um, and this is a this is a general rule with any fishing, but especially sight casting. 
you always want the sun to your back. You want that sun to kind of blind out the boat. You know, obviously we're these odd looking fish that are drifting up to the fish. So, <laughs> so you want that sun to help you camouflage. And right now we got a good position with the sun to our back. The wind's gonna push up, up that way. We don't have a trolling motor on this boat. So, but we got the right conditions right now to make it happen. Yeah. It's half the fun. Trying to hit me with that thing? No, I was trying to sh point out to you that there was a a boil or something. I couldn't see what it was, but <laughs> just let me know where it is. I'll let you know what it is. <laughs> What's that? Something just shot out of there, didn't yep. it? Yep, that was a nice boil. Don't you hate when that happens when mm -hmm. you have less than ten feet from the boat? <laughs> Let's get past this point. Should push us right to that cove. I'm still seeing fish moving up there. Are you? Right up there, right? Yep. There he oh, is. Yep, there yep. he is. Got him. Got him. Nice. You saw him coming, huh? That's the fun part about this. What do we got? A little snook? A little snook? Nice. Very nice. You saw him coming, didn't you? Yeah, that was pretty awesome to get to witness. Cool oh, guy. Not a big one, but uh, hey, it's still good fish. Yeah. Always fun. Got his pliers, he got it good. <laughs> Throw back out there, see if there's anything else. Let's get this little guy back in the water. Nice catch, nice catch. Yeah, thanks for... Uh, good. Good spotting with these uh, behaves. Yeah. Oh, you're on now? Yep. Oh yeah, well that's a nicer one. That's a lot nicer of a fish. Yes, he is. You still have the, the fish bite on? Yep, still running fish bite. That's a red, beautiful ooh, that's a red. beautiful red fish. Woo, what a pretty color. Nice fish, Billy. I love sight casting. Now, Ooh, he's a puller. Now, this is what we call a backcountry red, right? So he's dark in color. Oh, he's beautiful. He, he's been back here in this brackish water in the backcountry. What I am seeing right now, I just see hints of gold. <laughs> What's the difference? I see the whole darn fish. <laughs> I want to I want to get a comparison real quick. Keep them right there. I really want to see. Yeah. That's incredible. What a beauty. I'm really not trying to talk these glasses up, but that is incredible. You can see his whole shape with these and you put the the our old glasses on. Come here, come here, come here. Bring them back to you. Okay. I'm keeping the behaves on, Billy. Oh, I should have never let you get take them. <laughs> Doesn't get much prettier than that. Nice fish, man. Thanks for introducing me to the behaves. <laughs> That's sweet. Get your picture with those. Oh, hold on. Here. <laughs> Sweet. Beautiful red. Absolutely beautiful in color. Here, let me get a picture too, man. Like these true backcountry reds.
So that was really successful. Um, <laughs> you know, but it, we listen to what we preach. We listen to what we talk about. We listen to other captains that are on the show talk about the stuff and we execute it perfectly. Again, this isn't the best and ideal conditions for sight casting. But what we did was is, you know, for instance, we're working that bank. Oh, yeah. You saw the fish pushing back in this cove. Yep. So that's sight casting. You saw the fish. You didn't physically see the fish itself. You, I got to watch all of its movements and all of its play out to where we could actually predict where he's going to be stopping and hanging out. It was uh, yeah. highly successful. You saw the bait and everything. Um, now, the, the other important thing, thing I want to I want to talk about, too, is the execution from the lures. Yep. We have the loud one and the subtle one. That's it. All right, the new fish bite, you, you work that just like you would be fishing a live shrimp. That's it, a very, very slow action. You almost let it sit for, for quite a bit, you know, a good 10, 15 seconds if nothing happens. Just kind of drag them right along the bottom, kind of disturbed it and, you know, make it seem like there's something down there. When that red fish hit, how were you working that exactly? I, I had, honestly, I just let it set for the total of maybe three seconds and I felt a little tug back. And that's all it was. Got and it. then from there, set the hook and uh, game on. So I riled him up. You did. You had him completely moving. Move him. You tossed in right behind me. Pulled, I pulled that little snook in. And then you got a nice red fish. That was awesome. Awesome, awesome. Good job, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. Get out of here.